What's going on? So it is time to move the server to the data center. I moved the security cameras over to my uh, desktop with the uh, light that fell down. That's good for it, right? This is running on here. And then I shut down the VM for the cameras on the uh, Unraid server. So now the server's ready to roll. Um, I have to run two separate NICs on a... Come on, camera flip. There we go. I have to run two separate NICs on this machine. There's my uh, AC one, which works fine. The software is unbelievably awful on it, though I hate it so bad, but it works, gets job done. And then I plugged in my old alpha card here to connect to the router for the security cameras. Because if you remember correctly, the security cameras are on their own router, their own segregated network. Everything is completely separate and has no access to the internet. So it's on its own network, needs its own NIC. Just the way it is. I got to get another server soon though, because this doesn't really work very well. Um, some websites don't load <laughs> using two NICs. It just, I don't know, it doesn't know where to go, I guess. If I try to go to uh, Google Mail, <laughs> it just goes, eh, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do. So yeah, I need to uh, get another server quick. But in the meantime, we can go down here and we can go power down. There we go. All right, time to start unhooking shit. All righty, everything's all unhooked and ready to roll. Got everything undone. Got my fancy schmancy zip ties I cut up there. You know, no big deal. Time to go to the data center. data center yet and I'm going to need one to run the server and the other stuff that's there so earlier this morning I sent out a few emails for some that I found on Craigslist and uh, dude messaged me like as I was walking out the door so yeah I don't have enough time to go to the data center and then come back to meet him so I'm just gonna sit here and wait <laughs> sitting in a freaking Walgreens parking lot chilling I have like about a half hour to kill, almost. <sighs> Fantastic. But I'm getting a pretty baller switch at a pretty baller price, so eh, whatever. And with the magic of editing, I will show it to you right now. Oh yes. Got a 24 port gigabit fancy schmancy, whatever the hell this is. What the hell model number is it? Ah, there it is. Uh, GS724TV4. Yep. Um, I gotta get the mounting ears for it. Whatever. No big deal. That'll do the job. Awesome. Just got to the data center, and now it's time to go up and get the cart. Because I'm not carrying all that shit up there. Hell no. Weinberger. There's that cart. There it is. Come here, you. Time to load her up. See how long we can go until I knock the camera over. I'm sure I will. See you weeble wobbling. You didn't fall over. Weinberger. Or actually,
Okay. So that's my buddy's server. He brought it over here a few days ago. It's gonna have a friend. Oh yeah. Oh that shit's new. These racks were empty when I was here last. Huh. Okay. Cisco. Mm -hmm. Yes. Router goodness. This is my buddy's. It's just here uh, chilling. So I'm going to put mine like right here probably. A little bit lower. Uh, that means I won't need this anymore because I'll be able to get in the in the server in my server and actually like configure shit and all that. So, yay. Moving up in the world. These are server rails. And that is how the server mounts onto or gets mounted in the rack. Uh, these holes right here, screws go in there. They ride on these. Um, I will show you once I get them all set up. So I was monkeying around with these stupid things and come to find out, RTFD, right? On racks with uh, with square holes like this, you don't even need any tools. You don't even need a screwdriver. You just literally snap it in. It's actually pretty slick. This one says rear, and then over here it says focus, you fuck. It says front left, so you know that it goes over here, like this, and you literally just go plunk, and then here, go down, on 27, whoop, I gotta move that wire, shit, hold on. Hey, you get it where you want it, and you go plunk, that's cool, and then them bitches are in there, like that, it's good. I don't know if I have any screws for this. These are the ones that go on the actual server. And for whatever weird reason, I don't think it came with screws. So that kind of sucks because I don't see any on the side of the damn server. Yeah, it says in the directions, you must provide the following. Screws to secure the slide mounting bracket assemblies in a threaded hole rack. It doesn't make any sense though. No. No, I see how they work. I'm too busy looking at these stupid screw holes. It's these things. They just slide on. So there's literally no tools needed for this at all. That's cool. Yeah, this is pretty great. So what you do is you line up all the holes like that. And then if you look right here, this little metal tab thing, watch, when you pull it back, it snaps in place and it's on there. How cool is that? I think most uh, server rack mounting solutions are probably like this, but I don't know. The ones I've done in the past, I don't think I've ever done this in the past actually. Worked on lots of rack servers, but I don't think I've ever actually ha uh, hung one. So first time for everything, right? Now the fun part of uh, actually mounting the server by myself. So this should be fun. It's kind of an unwieldy bastard. Here goes nothing. Well, I got it, but I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sure all you server gurus out there yelling at me like, you're an idiot. Well, you know, gotta learn sometime, right? Is that supposed to go over that? Or am I supposed to take that off? Where'd my directions go? Yeah, so that's what I did, I think. Uh, yeah. And then, uh-huh, yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> uh, Hmm. I think what I'm gonna do is 
I think I'm gonna take the server out, take off a rail, and get it in there so it's going back and forth real nice, because I don't know what it's doing and I don't wanna yank something and have the server fall on the ground. <laughs> that would be bad. So, stand by. Took off one of the rails and put it back in, and see, it's going back a lot further. Maybe I was just bumping into something. I'm not sure, because these, they don't look like they're supposed to go anywhere. This little metal part right here. So, either it was bumping into something or my server is too big. Hmm. I don't think is the case. Uh, let's try this again. Yeah. I do believe that is as far back as it'll go. And I'm still sticking out way too far. Hmm. I can almost close it. Technically, well, no, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> eh. Kind of bent the shit out of that a little bit, didn't I? Urgh. Yeah, good as new. Well, shit. Uh, okay, so I don't know. Well, I mean. It works. It's uh, it's backwards, <laughs> but it works. I notice there's a lot more clearance on this side, so it can stick out all it wants. And uh, yeah, uh, a little bit outside the box thinking. Uh, it's backwards compared to everything else in here. <laughs> everything else is facing the other way. So I'll just have the derpy ass backwards server, I guess. Oh well. Whatever, whatever works. Uh, time to do some cabling. The server's up. It's uh, on and running and, come on you bastard, turn around, there you go. On and running and everything's all happy hunky-dory. Focus, you. There we go. Everything's doing just fine, but it doesn't seem to have any connectivity. So I was trying to boot up the laptop that I used to configure the, the router and stuff so I could transfer all that shit over. It's being a complete and total idiot right now, so it's just sitting there like, duh, I don't know what you want me to do. I have some shit to do tonight, so I think I'm just gonna put it, uh, I think I'm just gonna put it back the way that it was for now, and uh, come back and finish this up tomorrow when I have a little bit more free time, because, you know, nothing can work right. I did end up plugging it back into the switch, so you can see the cable's running there. Um, this one goes to the controller laptop. Uh, this one goes to the router, and then this one goes to the antenna. So that's all done and ready to roll. The server's mounted, even though I haven't gotten all the software and stuff done on it that I need to do. I did end up plugging it back into the switch. You can see the cables running there. Um, this one goes to controller laptop uh, this one goes to the router and then this one goes to the antenna so that's all done and ready to roll the servers mounted even though I haven't gotten all the software and stuff done on it that I need to do and then I did verify that I didn't break anything so that's good I was just gonna leave it put it back to how it was and leave it but uh, that computer decided to start working again so <laughs> we were good to go <sighs> yeah so for now